Good afternoon and welcome to the Whiskey Lover Society with me, Gerta Tief. And today, as you've seen in the description, we are looking at Valier's 10 year old. Now, I don't have a full bottle, but the distillery generously sent me a nice big sample to try and review. So I'm quite excited um, to give this one a nosing and tasting and my thoughts on it. I haven't opened the bottle yet. Um, but they also sent me some of the information with regards to the whiskey. And um, I thought it was nice of them. Um, small YouTube channel. So I thought it was nice of them to send me a sample to do a review on. So thank you very much from the Valiers Distillery. It is a Belgian distillery. Now, um, I did some reviews from some of the whiskies that they also make. So I will put a link uh, somewhere in the description or maybe as an end card so that you can see more from this distillery. They are well known for the um, Geneva here in um, Brussels. Um, Christmas market, that was one of my favorite things, going to the Christmas market and tasting all the different flavors that they have. So check them out on their website um, and um, let me know what you think. Um, have you tried this? Uh, Valier's 10 year old single malt. It is bottled at 43% ABV, uh, matured in sherry cask uh, in European oak. So I'm very proud of it. So they give me a nice photo of it. I do love the bottle. It reminds me a little bit of this Art Deco bottle. So something that you've done with the bottle can become a nice decanter for your infinity bottle. So really nice nice bottle and they also gave me a little bit of uh, information with regards to the single malt the 10 year old that they are producing and um, i also looked online because there's something that i also had no information about and um, the first time that i've seen this bottle was at the duty free shop here in belgium in um, uh, our uh, brussels airport and um, one of my colleagues also gifted one of these bottles to a retiring colleague. So I was quite intrigued. And of course, this opportunity came along for me uh, to do a review on it. Uh, and the first thing that did impress me is the color. Now, I did try to find a, a little bit of information. As I said on my YouTube search, um, I could only find two reviews. One was in Flemish and one was in and one was in German. So I I did not take a look. Um, as you know, I don't want to taint my information on my nosing and tasting notes. Power of suggestion can be uh, a problem sometimes. But they give me some information on this distillery. Started in 1880 already, so 140 odd years. Uh, in the making, but it's quite impressive. So I do know a lot about distilling um, some good spirits. And then they give you a little bit of background information that we are now in the fourth generation um, of filler uh, or filiers. Um, so it is a family owned uh, operation. Uh, and of course, it's a um, compromise of brothers Louis and Carlos filiers. So nice, nice to see a little bit of a family uh, operation going on. And of course, there's some more information that they talk about uh, the love of whiskey. And of course, we are all here for the love uh, of whiskey. Um, nice pictures of the, the pot still. Um, and um, some more information with the quality takes time. And I do agree that quality takes time. And I think for me, 10 years is normally this good starting point for something that is quite special. So they also give me some information on the uh, maturation. They say it's a unique single malt whiskey made from 100% barley malt aged in European oak sherry barrels for at least 10 years. Um, and they also say uh, this is the oldest single malt whiskey matured exclusively on this type of wood, of course in Belgium. And of course a little bit more information um, on the wood type and they tell me that the wood type is, very, is less porous so it takes more time to extract all the nice flavors out of the wood. So I'm quite looking forward to this one. There is some more information. I do like the the pot stalls that they have. Um, of course, I'm a little bit of a sucker 
um, at all these nice pictures. They did also ask me if I'm if I want to come and visit the distillery, and they give me a nice tour, and I think that is absolutely fantastic. Knowing that I only have a small channel, um, I think. 880 something uh, subscribers but they were still willing to take time and um, send me an invitation to spend the day there and uh, maybe do a little bit of a tasting of the things to come so I'm really looking forward to maybe one day go there as, as it is now my travel schedule is absolutely crazy so I don't have really time to uh, do some private visits but um, that is really nice of them to offer me that opportunity. Um, so onto the whiskey, 43%, 10 years old, sherry cost, um, all the right boxes are ticked for me. Uh, I do like a good sherry whiskey. And um, sometimes it's a hit and miss. Sometimes um, I, I enjoy it more. Sometimes you get that little funky sulfur note coming out of some of the sherry whiskies which i'm not always a big fan of so hopefully we don't see it in this one i do say the quality comes first so let's see if they are correct now first of all the color now i did take a look i could not find anything on color so it all depends 10 years sherry cost all depends on how how wet the sherry cost of course is um, so I don't know, maybe um, I will try to find out some more information with them. Maybe that was a good idea to do a little bit of a distillery tour here in, Bra in Belgium. And um, maybe get that information first hand. But as it is, I'm not 100% sure. 43% there might be some chill filtration. Um, but if I look at the, it looks a little bit oily. You see that long fin links slowly moving down. So it really sticks to the glass, a little bit of a viscosity going on. So on the nose, cheers. Well, it is absolutely I can feel Christmas coming. There's a sweetness to it. It's like a deep, dark, rich, sweet fruit. Dark fruit notes coming out. It is lovely. It is Christmas cake. There's a raisins in it. There's big, fat, sweet, Dates in it. There's a little bit of that furniture polish note coming out, that richness, that darkness. Oh, there's a little bit of a caramel sugar, a little fudge. It reminds me also about fudge, the chocolate fudge. Wow, that is really nice on the nose. It is 43%. I don't get any alcohol. It's, it's very mellow. It's well balanced. Well, balanced to the sweetness side. A little bit of an oak note also on the nose. Hmm. And every time I go back, it just gives me a little bit more. Definitely fruitcake. It reminds me of the fruitcake that my mom made always for Christmas. She made 50, 60, 70 huge fruit cakes every year for Christmas and the whole neighborhood, everybody used to enjoy it. And of course, loads and loads of brandy on top of the Christmas cake. She bakes it at least a month before, so it gets based and soaked in brandy. Hmm. And this is it. When you cut into that Christmas cake, the cherries coming out, the raisins coming out. Um, the fruity notes coming out, the sweetness, the sugar notes coming out. Mm, this really takes me back, puts a tear in the eye. This is absolutely fantastic on the nose. If you are into sweet whiskey. Oh, and um, something that has got all the fruit, the, the uh, sherry uh, components of it. Fantastic. I do love the nose. 
So, needs to, if this translate into the taste from what I can smell, this is going to be a winner and I need to go find a bottle uh, of this for Christmas. Well, just in time for Christmas. And of course, the price, I did see the price average between 60, sometimes a little bit less than 50 euros for 70 milliliters. So, and sometimes a little bit above that, up to the average maybe 65. And of course, that is also what my viewers um, wanted. Uh, something that is about 50 or more, or maybe less than 50, uh, tend to be a little bit of a budget whiskey. I'm not sure. I thought budget whiskey until I smell it, and I compare this to something that can be up to, to 100, 120 euro, maybe a little bit better. Mm, they're really nice. The taste wise, cheers. Lovely sweetness. I all get that alcohol. That extra three percent really makes a difference. It's a little bit of an alcohol hit, like a one or two seconds, disappears immediately, and then you are just left with that fruit cake. As same as my mother's fruit cake, after you've eaten it, you are left with that lovely sweetness of the raisins, of the dried fruit that is in it, the cherries that was in it. That I get now in my mouth. Mm, and it's begging me for more. Let me just give it one more. Oh, okay, one try. Mm. Totally a beginner's whiskey. Something that you will give to somebody that has never tried a whiskey. Somebody that says that they don't like the taste of whiskey. And um, this one, I just want to make sure. This one for me is, I would say, describe it as sherry with whiskey. So for me, it's a little bit more sherry than whiskey. Now, I know a lot of people will not like it, but wow, it, uh, this lovely sweetness is just fantastic on it. That uh, It's like a very strong sherry. So the cars that they are using, and they say quality matters, and I do think this is quality cars, quality wet cars, I think, because the amount of sherry that I get um, is, is just suggesting that the cars was, could be wet, maybe a little bit left in the, in the barrel, could be completely wrong, and if I'm wrong, um, sorry to the cousins, <laughs> but that's what I taste. If you are a sherry monster lover, this is one is definitely for you. I really like it. Let's give it one more try. Oh, this is a dangerous one. This is something that I'm going to sip for the rest of the day. Um, unfortunately, it was just, just a sample, but definitely something that I'm going to buy again. Now, have you tried it? I think there's only 5,000... 500 bottles that was produced on the first batch. Um, I'm not sure at, uh, if I have produced anything else. It was in 2019. Again, that information is not available, but that's something that, um, that I would definitely recommend. I think the first run was 5,500 bottles, so quite a number of them. I do so see it available, not really a problem. And um, um, yeah, absolutely fantastic. So please remember to like and subscribe. You've come this far. A lot of my subscribers are, are looking from the sideline, not pressing that uh, little button to subscribe, um, like 87%. And of course, if that 87% just to press that button, uh, phew, it will be great for my channel. And maybe more distilleries will see the reviews and maybe more distilleries will be interested in sending some samples for an honest review. Have you tried this one? What did you think? If, are you a sherry lover? Then this one was for you. Leave a comment, let me know what you think. Online, I think there's only two reviews. So let's make it the first one and make it the best review of the Feliz 10 year old single mom. So see you next time. Cheers.